This 100 HP weighs less than a ton, so naturally it is pretty agile around the bends. And the little front wheel drive chassis is just so eager to please, and it positively lights up if you point it towards some swooping bends. 0 to 62 takes nine and a half seconds, and top speed is 115. The 16 valve engine is an effervescent one, and the exhaust now is cheekily fruity. <laughs> If you do happen to find yourself on any bumpy or undulating roads, then the one thing you will be doing, sat here in this seat, is bouncing. Fortunately though, the roof is too far away for you to hit. Now, we wanted to put the Panda up against some stiff opposition to really test its sporting credentials. Which of course meant heading to the track. The Prairie Park Kart Circuit practically the Nürburgring of the East Midlands. The rival? A Ferrari. And one of my favourites, a 360 Modena. With a 400 bhp V8, it's four times as powerful as the Panda and gets to 60 in practically half the time. Can the Panda possibly beat the fastest name in motoring? This is a foregone conclusion. I'm in a 180 mile an hour supercar, but I'm on an incredibly tight and twisty track. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get enough power down on the short little bursts. We shall see. So first gear, second gear. <laughs> do you know what, I think I could probably do it all in first. Just sensational. Turn in, apex, punch the power, zoom out. But I'm on the brakes a lot. Let's see what speed I reach. 45 miles an hour. This is coping much better than I thought it would. I really thought it would just be stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. But actually, I can get a reasonable sort of rhythm going. And using that first gear. Six seconds. Come on, the panda. So, an impressive time by the Ferrari. Let's see what the little panda can do. And to start with, I'm going to give it a little bit of help. <laughs> I'm going to press the sport button there. And that basically makes the throttle response crisper below 3000 RPM and it takes away some of the power assistance so that I should be able to feel more of what's going on on the front end, i.e. tyre grip. So, let's start. Oh, I'm just doing my best to put the traction down. Instead of using the brakes, just pull a little bit of the handbrake just to help me round. Okay, I think the object here is for me to maintain momentum throughout. But I haven't even touched the brakes. Oh, I have then. <laughs> Well, it's definitely a different sensation to the Ferrari, but it feels like I'm going quickly all the time here. Top speed is only 37 miles an hour there. Oh, it's a real David and Goliath job, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. What does the clock say? What does the clock say? Can we beat the Ferrari? I don't know. So, come on, come on. What were the times? I'm coming over all excited. OK, well, remember the Ferrari did 33.6 seconds a lap. 0.6. OK. 0.6. The Panda, 35.3 seconds a lap. So it's just over one and a half seconds slower than the Ferrari. Well, at least it puts paid once and for all all those rumours that you can keep up with a supercar, even on Twisty Road. Yeah, the Panda, it really, really tried, but at the end of the day, Ferrari know what they're doing. Unlike the Bugatti Veyron, it's not necessary to fiddle around under the dashboard to turn the traction off. You just 